Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of uh, May 27th. This week, we're going to jump right in here. You have this justice card. It says something in your life needs to be brought into alignment. And I definitely feel that. You have the solitude card. It says retreating into your private world to find answers. Uh, this is coming up in your first position. This first row is kind of like your current general energies, but it's also like your past or um, you know what you've been working on up until this point, basically. And so I do feel a lot of you have maybe been in solitude or you've felt more in, in like more, I don't want to say alone, but I, you know, I do feel you've been maybe, maybe a little bit more in hermit mode, kind of a little bit more focused on yourself, which is fine. And, um, you know, I, I just think that you're kind of coming out of it. Honestly, I think that some of you uh, could find yourself being more social, uh, starting like this month, um, by this month, I mean like June. So, you know, maybe not May, but in the month of June, I think you're going to be a little bit more social. We see a lot of social energy with these two right here. Um, or you could be kind of like putting yourself out there more. So, uh, again, I think maybe you just were, you know, in solitude for whatever reason. You have the five of wands, the temperance card and the eight of wands. I'm hearing like letting something play out or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost like you... You know, there could have been something that brought conflict into your life and you just let it play out. You know, you didn't, um, you know, maybe there's something that you dealt with where uh, you didn't really have a big, you know, crazy reaction to it. Um, you know, maybe you did on the inside, but I think maybe you kind of uh, waited for something to play out. I also feel like some of, if that's not for you, I feel like some of you are letting something play out right now. You're kind of just like seeing how something is going to go. Kind of a weird message for the five of wands, but you know, that's what I'm getting. You have the temperance card. A temperance is about, you know, creating a transformation in your life. And, you know, it is a card of patience and all that other stuff. But I feel like you are kind of creating a transformation really is what's going on here. Uh, it's no mistake that you have butterflies in this reading. Again, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that Virgo gets butterflies in like every single reading that I do. So I feel like you are kind of maybe completing your transformation finally, or, you know, you've been going through a deep transformation and you're going to get on this path. This path is the path to glory. So it is like the path to everything you want in your life. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands. It definitely seems to be like a really good time for socializing. So uh, any benefits that you can possibly think of from socializing, uh, you could be getting with the Eight of Wands. I would also encourage you to socialize more or spend time with people more. It just seems to me like the reading is encouraging you uh, you know, to get out of the house, to go do, you know, spend time with people who matter to you, uh, go do things that are fun for you, all that other stuff. Eight of Wands is like a quick conclusion or quick success. So it could say that, you know, by socializing, by get, uh, changing up the energy, you w will find success quicker. I always say, I've never been so stuck in my life as when uh, I didn't allow myself to do things. I was in a period of my life where I was super stuck and I wouldn't allow myself to socialize and I was just more stuck because of it. I'm convinced that once I started socializing, it's like when you socialize, you're not thinking about your problems usually. So uh, it just got me out of my head and then I uh, started getting solutions to my problems and then it solved all my problems, right? So I think sometimes in life we like punish ourselves and uh, for whatever reason, that's kind of what I'm feeling for you here. It's like saying, don't punish yourself if things aren't perfect. If anything, maybe you should go enjoy yourself and, and kind of just let the energy go because that's when you'll get the good ideas. We go up to the magician here and the eight of wands is a card of your words. So make sure that you are using good words about yourself here this week so that you can manifest good good stuff, right? Uh, with the five of wands, you have the devil. Uh, definitely could be a toxic situation with a person. And again, maybe this is something that you just let it play out. You just let it happen and you are kind of healing from it or moving past it here. Again, I think you let someone kind of like show their true colors. You know, it's like you you just let someone, it's like you let their actions speak for, for themselves. <laughs> it's like sometimes, you know, I think sometimes people freak out after a breakup and it's just like, just let that bozo go be a bozo because that's how the world will see them as a clown, right? So sometimes we don't have to do anything other than let that person continue to exist. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the magician, which we have twice here. Uh, so here pointing towards a star, here pointing towards a star. Uh, really, you have some good good um, an answers for like how to manifest this uh, this week or this month. Uh, Eight of Wands, you're watching your words. Nine of Cups is a card of being in alignment, so he's pointing right towards the Nine of Cups. And you know when we when we are in alignment with exactly what we want, then we get it. And so the trick with the Nine of Cups is to adopt the habits of whatever it is that you want. So if you want to be successful, you know, go study what successful people do and do exactly that. If you want love, go do, go, go be in love, right? Go be in love with nature or whatever. And when you're in alignment, then you get it. Page of Wands is like a new journey. 
of having the stars, like having a big goal, wish, or dream that you focus on, and that's how you can manifest with the star. And with the Eight of Wands, you have the King of Swords. I feel like you could be attracting a new person into your life. Like if you want love, you could be attracting an old, a person who's older than you, uh, but you you might literally be attracting it with the magician. And so like you, maybe you have these ideas of what a good person would look like for you. He's pointing to the star. So you're attracting a star or you're attracting, it, that, you know, that really tells the star tells me that you're basically attracting your vision, you know? So maybe you have, uh, you know, a vision of what a person that you want to be be with, what they would look like or what they would do. And so it's like you're attracting that vision. Maybe you're not attracting exactly the person you want, but I think you're attracting, you know, kind of like the idea of a person. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this travel card. It says you're attracting positive movement or travel that will bring desires to fruition. So if you want to travel, now is a good time for travel for sure. Uh, you have this underworld card. It says awakening your inner witch to maximize potential and connect to the universal energies. So like I said, I, I think that ties in well with the whole manifesting thing. You are clearly manifesting things more quickly into your life or you're manifesting your desires more quickly. And yeah, I think this will make you happy. I think there's just good stuff coming in for you here, Scorpio. So, you know, it looks pretty good to me. You have the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Fool. The Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes a dream work. So anything you can do to work with other people is going to be extra beneficial for you right now. I think that your past few readings have kind of said this. So, you know, this might be a continuation of the energy of, you know, making sure that you're working together with people. These people are working towards a common goal. So even if you aren't working together with other people, I would make sure to surround pe yourself with people who support your goals, especially with that star card. You know, the star is like having a North Star. So like I said, this could just represent you putting yourself in the energy of what you want, nine of cups. So surround yourself with people who support you. Uh, also, I feel, uh, again, work has been really good for you as well, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's you <laughs> that I always say this to. So uh, yeah, I, I think you could be getting recognition for the work that you do. Uh, you have the nine of cups. Again, nine of cups is about bathing in the energy of what you want. It is a card of wish fulfillment as well. So I do feel some of you could be getting some sort of wish or there's like wish fulfillment uh, coming in for you with the nine of cups. Uh, I also feel like I, I would make a wish as well if I were you. I don't normally say that. Like, yeah, sure, nine of cups is a wish card, but I don't necessarily, you know, to me, again, it's more about being in alignment with what you want, but I do feel it is saying like make a wish at this time. Uh, you have the fool and uh, this is a new deck and I can't get it off the table. So there we go. But you have the fool and the fool is about taking a leap of faith. And so I feel you have to take a leap of faith. Uh, you know, he is a contrarian. He kind of like does things that may be different to other people. And there's this dog right here that's nipping at his heels. Uh, you can read the dog as a bunch of different stuff, right? Um, but, you know, it could say that there are people in your life who are kind of like nipping at your heels who don't want you to make a change or don't want you to do something that you want to do. I kind of feel that five of wands, devil. You know, there might be people who don't want you to make changes in your life. It's not, it doesn't have to be toxic, as I always say. It's like not everyone is toxic. Sometimes people, they don't want us to make a change because maybe they don't want us to move, right? And they, they don't want us to leave their life. Or if you're becoming more successful, sometimes people act weird when you start becoming more successful because they don't want to lose you. And, you know, I think that understanding where people are coming from, you know, could be very helpful for you this month. I, I would say the entire month, not just, I know this is weekly reading, but, <laughs> you know, I really feel this is kind of like a monthly type of energy where, you know, there could be people who act weird or whatever, and maybe just communicating or putting up healthy boundaries could help. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Swords here. Going this way, you know, she sees clearly for the first time. She only has clouds halfway up her body and it kind of represents that she finally sees the future clearly. So to me, I think you are finally seeing like your future or where your future is headed much more clearly in your life. And when we're clear about what we want, then we get it. So, you know, again, I think this clarity is a good thing. With the Nine of Cups, you have the Emperor. Yeah, if you're trying to attract an Emperor or even an Empress into your life, I feel that you could be, it looks to me like you're attracting a star. And like I said, I don't think this is someone famous, but you know, it could be a person where you have an idea. This is like, it's a weird message, but that's how it's popping into my head. It's like, there's certain things you want in a person. It's like, you're attracting that. <laughs> it's like, maybe it's not an exact person. I think it's the idea of a person. So I hope that makes sense. But you know, it looks to me like you're attracting a person. It uh, could be a fire sign. You've had fire all up in your business for like two years now. And so there could be clearly a fire sign that's coming in for you. Uh, it doesn't have to be. It could just be a person that has a lot, like has a lot of desire in life, or it could be a person who's like a leader or has a leadership role in life. And with the Fool, you have the Seven of Wands. Boundaries, 
Seven of Wands is about drawing a line in the sand and telling people like, this is what I'm willing to accept in my life. This is what I'm not willing to accept. And so sticking up for your boundaries is gonna be very important for you. And like I said, we don't have to be a jerk about this or anything, but we can just tell people like, hey, I, you know, I, I don't want you to cross this boundary or hey, I'm not gonna spend time with you if you always hate on my new ideas or whatever the case may be. And so you can just say that and, and leave it at that. And if they keep doing it, then you can avoid them, right? So it's more about drawing a line in the sand and, and telling and letting people know like what you're willing to accept, what you're not willing to accept. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this quiet the mind card. You also have this uh, close encounters card. So butterflies, again, I think it would be an amazing time for resting, relaxing, recovering. It just seems to me like people this summer, the whole entire summer might need a little bit extra, you know, resting, relaxing time. And, you know, I would take it if you need it. Uh, the butterflies, again, transformation. Uh, but there's like one butterfly in the cage. There's another butterfly outside the cage. And so I feel that some of you could be discovering a way uh, to set yourself free. And uh, freedom, it comes up quite a bit in the readings nowadays. We still have Uranus and Taurus. Uranus and Taurus is all about setting yourself free. It's like looking at your restrictions or looking at things that cause restriction in your life and either getting rid of them or finding another way to do things so that you don't feel so restricted. Um, so again, I, I think that like uh, maybe like two years ago now, I did a reading, and I, but I was, it was like a collective reading. I was talking about how um, we have to look at these restrictions and it doesn't mean we have to leave something. Like maybe you have a job, it could be a good job, but maybe it feels, you feel restricted. And so it says like, how can you turn it into something where you don't feel restricted? And if you can't, maybe you do need to leave at that point. But if you can change it, you know, it's more about transforming the energy into something uh, that you can do. And that's what I would work on here, mostly because we have the magician twice in your reading. The magician is about reinvention or reinventing yourself. He has this snake wrapped around his waist here, which represents the Ouroboros. And the Ouroboros is simply just a reinvention. So you could be making changes or reinventing yourself in some way. And uh, that's what I would do here with the magician. Uh, you have the page of wands and the page of wands is about going on a new adventure. A lot of adventurous energy this summer as well. Like every reading that I've done so far has for like the past couple weeks, has had the the uh, page of wands in it. And so the page of wands, he gets excited about a new idea or he feels enthusiastic about a new direction and he just tries it. He just starts the journey. He starts going on the journey. And I kind of feel that for you where it's, this card is just saying that if you're getting excited about something, it's probably the universe or your inner self, your higher self, whatever you want to call it, uh, is telling you to uh, move towards something new. Uh, the problem is, is that we still are in like a very logical time. So, you know, the thing, the challenge for all of us is to be flexible and as flexible as possible. There, there might be very logical real world reasons why you can't um, you know, kind of start the journey towards your popsicle factory that you're gonna open in your kitchen, right? There might be certain restrictions that would prevent you from doing that. But the whole, the reading, the energy that we are dealing with right now says, how can you do it anyway? How can you do something that you wanna do even if it's not logical or even if it doesn't make real world sense how can you make it something that makes real world sense, right? I read pieces of paper with uh, pictures on them on YouTube for a living. Uh, how does that make sense? It doesn't, right? <laughs> so YouTube has opened up a whole world of opportunity. And so you could make popsicles and put it on YouTube and I'm sure you would probably be very successful. That's just like one example, but I think you really need to put your uh, thinking cap on here. With the magician, you have the fool again. So uh, we see the, the fool and the magician very close here fool and the magician. I think that you need to take a leap of faith uh, towards reinventing yourself or or towards a reinvention, like doing the things in life that you really want to be doing. Uh, with the page of wands, you have the 10 of wands, uh, like again, real world responsibility. So I feel you have very real world responsibilities that you have to work around. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I do think you are capable. I believe in you, Virgo, right? I believe that you can have that popsicle factory in your kitchen or whatever it is that you want to do. So I would just like put in the work with the 10 of wands. I think that you are going to be able to do it. He's carrying all those 10 wands, but he's about to reach his home here. So it kind of says that you are about to receive uh, your rewards or you are about to put down your burdens and experience what whatever it is you've wanted to experience. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the Four of Wands. Marriage, yep. Uh, I think that you could be attracting an emperor or an empress. Again, take it how it resonates. It could lead to marriage if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so again, if you want to get married, you could be meeting a person where you have a very deep commitment with that person. Uh, the Four of Wands is also the card of freedom. So, you know, it is a card of setting yourself free in some way. And you have that Close Encounters card here. So, like I said, I think 
that, you know, energetically, the reading is saying that there are certain things that are restricting you, but how can you work around the restrictions or how can you work with the in- the restrictions? Uh, you have this maiden that says, a new relationship blossoms. There you go. You have this earth that says, utilize logic, reason, and common sense. The opposite of what we, we just said. But I think that it's saying that you have to ground something in reality with that earth card. Uh, clearly, there could be a very solid new connection coming in for you, for those, for you lovers out there, right? There could be a lover coming in here or a person who's interested in, in you. I think it's something that gets you moving as well. It's kind of funny because like maybe you've been dating, but no one really, you know, gets you off your seat, so to speak, right? Like no one, no one, I, I, like if I put myself in your shoes, it's like no one is really making me want to get up off the couch here. <laughs> and so I kind of feel like you're meeting a person that kind of puts a little pep in your step here or, or you're meeting a person that's a lot more fun. The two of pentacles like work hard, play hard. But in the good stuff, it would say that you're having more fun in life or you're doing more things that you enjoy. And th- so that could be what's going on here is you're doing more that you enjoy. And therefore, you're, you know, that would suggest that you're meeting a person that kind of gets you up, get, gets you gets you going. You have the star. Again, probably the most important card here. I think that you need to focus on everything you want, right? And no matter how impossible it seems, one of my favorite books of all time, The Big Leap by uh, Gay Hendricks, he says, you know, if everything went like 110% according to plan, if everything was perfect, uh, what would that look like? And it doesn't mean you have to actually, um, you know, that things will go perfectly or anything, but what would it look like? What would happen? You know, what would, how, how would, how would you know? How would things go? And just thinking about it, I think sometimes can really help you uh, understand like what you want and how you can make things more perfect or how you can get closer to that. You have the four cups. Four cups definitely says you've been disappointed in the past. Uh, this is like one more offer being made to you. And I do feel like there is, you know, again, if you want love, there could be a very solid love offer coming in. It's like, yes, you've been disappointed, but this is something much better. I also look at the four cups as a card of uh, kind of mixing ingredients together. It's like, imagine you're trying to manifest a cake. He has manifested the flour, the sugar, the eggs, but he needs to put everything together and pop it in the oven. So he, you, you have all the ingredients of success here in this reading, but you just need to mix everything together and like pop it in the oven and make something happen, right? So let's see. Uh, With the two of pentacles, you have the five of swords. Uh, Five of swords about taking a risk in the good stuff. So in the good stuff, five of swords would say you're winning, number one. Uh, This guy here, he is the winner. He has won at all costs. But it would also, uh, five of swords is my card of kind of like risk taking or putting yourself out there. So it'd be a great time for you to take a risk, which I think comes up for you a lot. Uh, with the star, you are here you go. You have the Empress, I told you. <laughs> I knew that the Empress was going to show up. That's why I kept saying the Emperor or the Empress. So there you go. Uh, definitely attracting an Emperor and Empress into your life. The star would be like fulfillment, you know, feeling fulfilled or feeling very hopeful about the connection. So if you are attracting a new connection, uh, there could be a lot of abundance here. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the Moon. Uh, the Moon in the good stuff would represent clarity. You know, the moon represents a period of a lack of clarity or, you know, buying into illusions, uh, not seeing things clearly can represent fears, fantasies, illusions. But coming up in the good stuff, it would say that you are seeing through the fears, fantasies and illusions and you're seeing kind of like the truth of what's going on around you. So um, and not only that, you this row here or this diagonal, you start with the queen of swords. So this really is kind of like a clue that you are um, more clear on your direction in life or you are uh, gaining clarity in life at this time. So, you know, that looks amazing. Uh, You have this versatility card. I think we said something about this earlier. I'm not sure, but um, I can't remember at this point. But what I would say is I think that you are maybe being more flexible. And, you know, just if one way to do something doesn't work, try a different way. Uh, This is true for everyone. Again, that Uranus and Taurus energy, uh, the thing with Uranus and Taurus is it's uh, unpredictable and it's a fixed, you know, in a fixed sign. So we are experiencing heavy fixed energy right now. We had the Jupiter-Uranus conjunction a little while ago, depending on when you're watching this. We had a bunch of energy at the uh, kind of middle end of May in Taurus, which, you know, also a lot of fixed energy. So I think we need to be more flexible in how we accomplish things right now. Now you have this achievement card. Definitely some big achievements coming in for you, especially for those of you that are reinventing yourself or presenting yourself in a new way. Uh, That's where the achievements are gonna come from. Uh, You have this caution card. Uh, A lot of people have had this card. I would be careful of people at this time. Um, Just like, you know, people who want too much of your energy or like we said, if there are people in your life who hate on your ideas or uh, who are not supporting you properly, I would make sure that you're drawing a line in the sand. There's literally a line on this card. So I would draw a line in the sand with the people in your life who maybe don't um, you know, have your best interest at heart. Again, like I said, 
take how it resonates. I think sometimes tarot is too dramatic. So what I would say here is that, you know, it doesn't have to be that big of a deal, you know, and I would just pay attention. Uh, next, you have this lost card. This is Saturn and Pisces. Uh, we have Saturn and Pisces right now. So you could have experienced some sort of loss in your life or uh, you could be letting something go. Uh, I kind of feel like some of you are just, some of you, it looks like to me, are getting over something. I think I kind of said this earlier, but you know, it seems to me like you're, you know, this bird is picking over the dead, the bone of this horse or whatever it's supposed to be. It's like you're, you know, I feel like you're finally like closing something out or putting something to rest. And it could be like a past relationship, a past situation or whatever. Uh, you have this acquisition card. It uh, could be a Scorpio. You have this Scorpio card. Scorpio had this card. So you could be attracting a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. But this is like my fancy couple card. So I definitely feel there could be like a fancy person coming in for you or a very solid connection. You know, definitely uh, divine counterparts, emperor, empress type of energy going on here in this reading. So uh, this looks amazing here, Virgo. I love it. Uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.